and we're back for another episode in this episode I'm going to be doing the black mage relic so we are here with Geralt and um, as always we have Jayu Honeyjade here as well though she's not a voice chat so anyway to start the relic quest you come to Hurst Mill in North Shroud up here so this is where Gridania is you just come up here and you can start the quest there are some pre-quests as well detailed in the other videos so yeah so let's now talk to Geralt so um, the quest is called a relic reborn stardust rud so it says Geralt has the air of a man defeated so uh, just let me wait one thing clear it might be as I'm repairing kettles to pay for yesterday's mead but I still got me pride as a master weaponsmith um, you'll get no less than the finest out of me forge and it might be as you've got that goddamn slip of paper, but it'll only get you so much. Restoring relics like these calls for some rare old materials, and I ain't got none. So if you want the job done, you'll have to run along and fetch them for me. So what is it you want restored? Uh, what? A relic weapon for Black Mage? The Arcane Art of Destruction? Uh, sorry lass, but that's a new one on me. Hmm. Uh, what's that you say? Uh, aha, so this uh, Kukuruka bloke um, had a rod what looked like a comet, did he? Um, well, that could be only be a stardust rod, assuming uh, your admirably vivid description was accurate. A number of these were made according to the uh, Tarans dating back to the 5th Astral Era. Um, ages ago, there lived a female mage of no small repute who was known by all sorts of unsavory um, and empty heads. Um, Death's um, handmaiden was one, the Black Witch was another, and Brother Harpwitz called her She-Devil. Her name was Shantoto, uh, or was it uh, Shatoto? All ah, right, uh, Shatoto. Um, aye, that's the one. Uh, the woman's credited with um, devising countless destructive magics and for uh, pastime indulged in creating enchanted arms, the most famous among them being the Stardust Rud. Um, this goes without saying, but none save the creator knows how they were made. Lucky for us though, I have an inkling as to where we might find one of the actual relics. And uh, once I've got one in me hands, I doubt it'll take me long to unravel its secrets. Um, some years ago a Stardust Rud was put for sale at a Lamindan auction for plundered goods. Um, no one knew for sure if it was a gen the genuine article, um, but it didn't take long for the various bidders to talk themselves into thinking it was, and a proper scramble looked to be um, in the offing. Um, aye, but you'll never guess what happened. Scarcely a bell <laughs> for the auction uh, was due to start. Kobos attacked the pirate's storehouse and plundered all the, the plunder. Um, irony at its finest, eh? Um, any road, in all likelihood, the rod now rests inside Angora Mines, collecting dust. So that's where you'll need to take yourself. So we see Honey Jade was falling asleep during all of that. So anyway, let me uh, teleport now to Outer Linosia. Okay, so let's go. So Angora Mines from Camp um, Overlook is to the north up here. And we need to run to this region to find the old relic that we're going to have restored. So once the Black Mage relic is done, I've only got to get Monk and then I have them all. And having them all will give me the achievement called Arm to the Teeth, which will give me the title The Insatiable. And I'm aiming to get this all done before patch 2.2, because in patch 2.2 you'll be able to upgrade the relics further. We have no idea what the requirements for that is just yet, but it will still be nice to do. And ideally if I can upgrade all nine of them, then I will. Okay, so here's on Guru Mind, so now we need to go here. So I'm basically going to be hugging the right wall. able to though. Yeah, that way is locked, so I have to go around. Let's 
trying to avoid all the fights. Okay, so it's not around there. So let's go around the other way. Okay, so now we need to take this straight back to Geralt in North Shroud, so let's go. If you can avoid fights, it's just better because it saves time. And um, the gear I'm wearing while I'm going to be doing this is I've got the full dark light set for um, Black Mage and Summoner. And I've got all a bunch of crafted accessories as well with vitality material on there just for the sake of boosting my health as much as possible. And I'm using the Elder Staff which is the staff you can use, oh sorry, that you can get from doing the extreme uh, primals every week. Doing the quest primal focus which you can see I've got activated for this week as well. So it's put me at night level 73. I am, I am more than geared for this um, entire chain. It's just a case of get on and do it. And um, as you guys know, if you've been watching my video series, this is my going to be my eighth uh, relic out of nine. So this is nothing new, but I like to record them anyway, just so you can see them all from every class's point of view. In case you you happen to be doing it on that particular class and you wonder how to do it, what abilities to use and any general advice and so on. So here we are back in Hurst Mill. And it's very busy here because it's Sunday today, so people can actually play the game. <laughs> okay, so here's Geralt. So let's see what Geralt says. So Geralt says, some years ago a Stardot Rust was put for sale at a limited auction. Okay, he said all this before. So let's hand it over, the time-worn Stardust Rod. So it says, well, bugger me, never me in me wildest drunken dreams did I imagine you'd actually find the bloody thing. Uh, but I'll have to fire up the forge after all. Um, having said that, the relic's in far worse shape than I thought. It ain't like to survive much pounding in this state. Truth be told, I'd be worried about sneezing near it. We're going to need a new host, what will give itself for the restoration. Bring me a Sanguine Scepter, one of uh, with uh, two Grade 3 Savage Might materia melded to it. This will serve as the vessel for the restored relic. Uh, remember, that's two Grade 3 Savage Might Materia, or less, and you'll get naught from me, no matter how many slips of paper you wave in me face. Okay, so we need to go now back to Gridania and make the item. And hello, Tiny Jade, once again. So, one thing that's an advantage for me is that I am a crafter. I can, I am level 50 of every craft, so I'll be able to make this myself, and we'll see as well. Um, if I will save money doing that, and how much I will save. I do see leveling up crafting as a good time and money investment because of the amount of saving it will give you in the long run. So anyway, let's see how much the Sanguine is. Here you go, Sanguine Scepter. So 7,400 for normal, and with two materia melded to it, people are charging 40,000 for it. So I need Goldsmith to craft it. So let's see what the materials will be for Goldsmith. So Goldsmith. Now it doesn't matter if it's high quality or normal quality when turning it in for the quest. It makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. So I'm going to need a Dark Steel Nugget and a Pinprick Pebble. So let's see how much the Pinprick Pebbles are. So Pinprick Pebble. Okay, 850 gil, no problem. And we're going to take two Savage Might Materia Freeze as well. Savage Might Materia Freeze, yeah, 2300 gil. Make sure as well when you're buying them though that you check the quantity that you're buying, that you don't accidentally buy 20 of them. Okay, so so far I've spent what, like 5000, maybe 6000 gil? So if I quickly change to the goldsmith and craft the thing. 
So let's see, synthesize. Okay, so just gonna do standard synthesis, do as quickly as possible. Using generative low the level a bit. There you go. There you have sanguine scepter. I'm gonna do materia melding. Savage might materia freeze. And again. Done. So you can see it does qualify for the quest because it's given me the tick on the quest uh, notification. So I'm going to quickly change back now to blacksmith. So you see there, I spent about just under 6,000 gil and I have the item made. If I had bought it from the market board, I would have spent 40,000. So in this case, it's a saving of 34,000 gil. It might be a way for me to make money, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, so that's why I say leveling up the crafting really, really was worth it because of savings like this, like the amount of things I can do. I don't have to wait for anyone to make it for me. I don't have to help get any help from a friend or anything like that. It's just a case of if I want it, I just buy the materials and make it straight away. So quickly heading back now to North Trail to Geralt to hand it over and then uh, carry on towards the first fight of a Relic Reborn which is the Dawn Chimera. There's Honey Jay still sitting there. So let's see Geralt. So, okay, need to bring the Sanguine Scepter. Hand over. So, I, to the fine brace you brought me, and I, just the thing to host your relic. Um, I've merged what was left of the relic with the host weapon, so the groundwork's done, but don't go jumping for joy just yet, there's still more to do. I need to work on the finishing touches, but due to the reinforcement work I've had to do, the weapon's proving rather stubborn to shape. Um, to get round this, you'll be needing some alumina salts, a substance made by grinding a rock called alumina into fine grains. Unlucky for you though, it ain't easy to get hold of. Uh, mayhap you already know this, but there are beasties out there what devour their prey whole, and some of them swallow rocks as to aid with digestion. The Dawn Chimera, what terrorizes the central highlands of Kyorphus, happens to swallow alumina salts for this purpose. Um, slay the bugger and bring me the alumina salts, and I'll see to the finishing touches on your weapon. So it says the Dawn Chimera can be confronted via the duty finder upon examining the quest destination situated at the Weeping Saint in Corfa's Central Highlands. Uh, please note the trial of Relic Reborn, the Chimera, must be completed as a Black Mage. So what we'll do now, we're going to teleport to uh, Camp Dragonhead. That's the quickest, place to, the quickest way to get there. And I'm just showing you the way to go as a benefit to people who um, haven't done the Relic Quest before. Now, the good thing is, one thing that they changed in patch 2.1 is that once you get to this location the very first time, um, you can then reactivate the quest through the duty finder. You won't have to come back here every other time. So where we're heading to is up here, up, right up here in the northeast of Central Corfus High Highlands. And the quickest camp to get there, like I said, is Camp Dragonhead. So once we get to this point, you will see well, on my screen it'll be an entrance to the Dawn Chimera fight, but for everyone else who hasn't done this before, you will see a destination quest um, location on the ground. Once you click that, then you will unlock the fight to be accessed through the duty finder, which you can do from then on. And to find it in the duty finder list, um, open up the duty finder, go down to trials, and then it's right here, a relic reborn, the Chimera. So that's how you will queue up for it in the future. So we're almost there, I'm going to quickly show you where the entrance is, and there it is. So if, like I said, if I hadn't already locked it, on the floor right there will be a quest destination, you simply click on it, and that's it, you can then do the Chimera fight. So anyway, um, that's it for this episode, thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri.